All right, guys, this is a uh, video to explain the technique that you need to use if you're trying to get the uh, keepers off of the valve spring retainer uh, using the compressed cylinder method. So to start off with, um, you need a couple things here. You need eye protection because you're going to need uh, high pressure in the cylinder head. Um, don't think that you're going to get by with a 40 psi, uh, 3 cubic foot per minute pancake compressor. Um, the blow by on the cylinder is such that you need a much bigger compressor, so I had to borrow my friend Art's compressor. Um, also, you need hearing protection because at around 100, 115 psi, it makes a pretty darn loud sound whenever you. Uh, Whenever, whenever you're trying to get this stuff off. The tool I'm using is a, is a snap-on uh, valve uh, spring retainer or keeper remover. And the way it works is it's basically hollow on the inside. You can't see them, but there's magnets on the inside. And you bang on the top of the, uh, on the, top of the valve uh, retainer and What's going on here is you're pushing on the top of the retainer and the, the valve is being held in place by the pressure of the cylinder and if done right, the uh, compression between the two enables the collets or the, the keepers to fall loose and they attach themselves to the magnets on the inside of the cylinder here. I decided to pick snap-on because snap-on uh, has a good reputation and because I recognized that the inside of the hydraulic lifter tunnels need to be uh, maintained uh, scratch free and I was hoping that this the, uh, the snap-on tool gives me the uh, least possibility of damage. So Dad and I've got this thing pressurized up and I'm going to show you the technique that you need to use to get this stuff out. If you just put the, uh, the tool on top of the retainer and bang on it on the top, it kind of pushes it straight down and that's not really beneficial in breaking loose the collets or the, the keepers. So what I found to be useful is putting the, uh, the tool at a slight angle, just, just at enough of an angle such that it doesn't impact the lifter tunnels and then bang on it there. And that kind of puts it off at an angle and helps to break loose the collets. Beware it gets pretty loud, so here we go. Sounds kind of like a gun going off. So I'm banging it on this side. I'm gonna bang it on this side a little bit. Bang it on this side a little bit. Maybe a little bit on this side. That time you didn't hear anything that's a good indication that you've actually broken it free. Now you can lake it in the middle and bang on it um, such that you're hitting it straight up and down and if you hit it hard enough you won't hear any sound but it will break the collar, the collets free or the keepers free to attach themselves to the magnet. Here we go. And when you do that the spacer or the retainer and the collets are now inside the tool and have been removed. And from there, we can take the valve spring out. Here you go. And that gets us to the next, the next video.